Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the part four of the how to retouch dark skin series. Today, we're going to be looking at skin toning and sharpening. Now, I have a video I did on sharpening in the past. I'm just going to go over it again in this video and show you guys how I'll do it in this particular beauty image. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. And if you like my videos, do not forget to leave me a thumbs up and also comment below and let me know what kind of videos you like to see me make and I'll try my best to make them and put them on here for you guys to see. Now, let's jump straight into today's tutorial. Now, skin toning is just adjusting the color of your model's skin and, you know, making her look um, better, making her look, you know, um, more natural or maybe you're going for like a stylistic look, you know, a kind of stylist look. Uh, um, stylish look probably um, trying to make her look more commercial or whatever it is they are going for it's, it's almost the same as like grading but this time we're just trying to affect the skin tones in this image now my skin tone is usually pretty simple I'm not somebody to spend too much time you know delving into Photoshop and trying to do something that's way advanced and all that so I'm just going to break this down into you know simple steps for you guys to understand now the first thing I'll do for skin toning is um, open a selective color adjustment layer now when I open that I'm just going to be working on my reds seeing that as black people we have more reds in our skin generally I guess <laughs> but yeah this is um, probably my thing I didn't read it anywhere but you know over like shooting for a few years now I've just you know yeah <laughs> that's just it so um, I'm just going to work on my um, red um, layers or I'll just say the red colors here now what I do generally is I work with my cyans, my magentas. So for my magentas, if I pull it, you know, back towards this way, then, you know, I introduce more greens into my image. Now, if I pull it forward, I introduce more magenta into my image. Now, I'm going to take this back to zero. Now, for the cyans, if I pull it back, I introduce more red. If I pull it this way, I kind of introduce this color. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but, yeah. but yeah, so now I'm just going to show you guys how I work on this particular image now. There are going to be different values for different images. You have to know when um, your image has more greens in it and when your image has more magenta in it so you can adjust accordingly. Now, for this image, I feel like this image is a lot more green than I want it to look. Now, from my screen and my calibration, though, I feel it's like a lot more green than I would want it to look. So I'm just going to add a little magenta here. Let me just drag this up. Okay, at this point, I think this looks good. So I'm just going to zoom into this image one step. So you guys can see it. So this is the before and this is the after. Okay, so before and after. So I've added more magenta. Now, I just want it to look a little bit more stylized. So I'm just going to pull away from my reds towards my cyan's. Somewhere around this. It's fine. Okay, so this works for me. Just going to zoom out. Let me show you guys the before and after for each step. So this is the before and this is the after. As you can see, there's a lot more magenta in the skin and it's looking a lot more natural. Now, another thing I've noticed is that my reds are too much. So if you come to your black um, channel here, if you pull your blacks up, it kind of like, I don't know, adds a, a lot more reds into your image. Then, you know, if you reduce it, then you lose the red. So for this particular image, I'm just going to go, you know, minus five should be five. Okay. Yeah. So I've like I've toned her skin, you know, to look exactly the way I felt it looked when I was shooting her, and this just looks perfect to me. So I'm just going to do a before and an after for you guys to see. I'm just going to zoom in here, and I hope you guys can see the changes. Before, very greenish. After, I've introduced some more magenta into the skin. Before, greenish. After, I've introduced just you know more magenta into the skin. It's slight, but you know it goes a long way to help your image. Now from there. I'm going to create a levels layer. So now what I do with my levels um, basically is that I use my levels to add more contrast to my image. I, I prefer, some people prefer to use curves and, you know, use like a, a, an S curve on their image, but I just prefer to use levels. So I'm going to hold my Alt or Option key for Mac, Alt for Windows, and drag this in. Now you can see where my whites are picking and I don't want my whites to pick too much. So I'm just going to stop somewhere about here. That's fine. Then I'll do the same for my blacks. Hold Alt and Option and pull my blacks in. So somewhere around five is fine. So let's see. Before, after. You can see we've introduced a lot more contrast into our image. Before and after. Now, 
now I, I feel like my image is contrasty and my image looks fine but another thing is that i feel like my image looks too saturated now different strokes for different folks some people would um, love to use um, love to have you know this really saturated image some people like to have um, desaturated images i just like being in between so now i'm just going to open my hue saturation layer and i'll pull my general saturation down to I think, yeah, minus, minus eight works for me here. Okay, that works for me. So I'm just going to put all this in a layer, group them. I'm going to zoom in for you guys to see. And this is my before. This is my after. Works perfect for me before. After I've reduced the amount of grains in, the, in, in her skin tones, you know, I've added a little bit more magenta. And it just, overall, it just looks way better. As you can see the contrast around the hair, you know, I fixed all that. And this just looks better so now the next thing i'll do is i'll sharpen this image and how i'll go about that is to create a, 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 a stamp visible layer so command option or control alternate shift e so that creates a stamp visible layer for me right here then i'll go to image adjustment brightness and contrast at this point i'm trying to sharpen my image reduce my contrast all the way to minus 50 click ok go to filter other high pass i'll set my high pass between 1.8 to 1.5 let's do 1.5 for this image click ok then i'll go to my blend modes here i'll change it to vivid light and once i zoom in you can see how contrasty my image is can you guys see that now we like when the eyes of the subjects are like really sharp you know but um Obviously, we don't want the skin tones to be too sharp, so I can duplicate this layer, create a layer mask, and invert that layer mask. Now, I've hidden this layer right here, and I'm just going to pin that into the eyes. While this one down here, I'm going to reduce the opacity, because this is the one that worked for the skin. So I'm just going to set this somewhere to about 20. So 20 works for me. I don't want the skin to be too sharp. I don't want, like artifacts around the skin so 20 works perfectly for me i think i'm just going to take this up to 30 just to you know sharpen the image a bit more okay 30 fine then for the eyes just going to pick a brush change my color here my foreground color to white opacity 100 flow is 100 then i'm just going to paint over the eyes right here make sure the eyes are like sharp and in focus and i'll reduce my opacity 50 works. Let's see before and after. So yeah, you guys can see how sharp the subject looks. You can also paint the sharpness away from her lips if you don't know want if you do not want it to be too much around you know her lips and all that. But yeah, so this is a quick tutorial about how I um, tone and tone my subject skin or my model skin and also um, sharpen my image. So this was done in less than you know five minutes and um, yeah. Um, I'll try to provide an action for the sharpening. I'll try. I don't know, but um, you guys check down below the page and I'll probably provide the link to the um, an action for my sharpening. And yeah, um, thank you for watching today's tutorial. This was just something I just went to do real quick and put it out there for you guys. And um, yeah, please give it a thumbs up if this helped you in any way. And also do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. And if this helped you in any way do not forget to comment below comment below i mean and let me know and um yeah i'll see you guys in another video one last thing i encourage people to submit their images and i'll go through them if there's an image i like then i'll probably use it to do a retouching video and put out here for you guys to see maybe it'll be easy or you know maybe i can tackle other images and you know that'll push me to show you guys one or two things that i'll do in that particular image so yeah thank you guys again for watching this how to retouch dark skin series and i'll see you guys in another video peace